when an engine heats up, the pistons and cylinders and pretty much everything else in the engine expand with the heat. They build the engine so that the pistons have a very sloppy fit in the cylinder when it's cold, so that as the cylinder barrel and the piston expand, and the piston expands about twice as much as the cylinder barrel does, that when they're up to full operating temperature, they have a nice snug fit. But here's the problem. The cylinder heats up quite slowly. The piston, on the other hand, is a much smaller thermal mass, and it doesn't have any cooling fins. The piston wants to heat up quickly, and the cylinder wants to heat up slowly. And so if you look at the clearance between the piston and the cylinder, as the thing heats up from very cold, it not only goes from something very sloppy to something very tight, it heats up too rapidly. It goes from something very sloppy to something negative. The piston grows faster than the cylinder can accommodate it. And then you get metal to metal contact and it doesn't matter how much oil is on the surface. The piston is bigger than the cylinder. It's gonna squeeze any oil out of there. And you can always tell an engine that has been regularly started without preheating, when a cylinder comes off and you look at the piston, you'll see a bunch of vertical scoring on the piston called skirt scuffing that was caused during this period. So it's really important to preheat and it's really important to let the engine warm up nice and slowly. And it's really important not to go and apply full power to the engine until it's gotten reasonably up to temperature so that it doesn't happen. (music) 